What's going on everyone? This is Dom and meet Black Ice. I've slowly been getting sick of my late 2013 Mac Pro and decided to build something to replace it. And I'm not going to claim to be an expert in this kind of stuff, but I do know a small thing or two. And I'm also not a huge gamer, but now that I have some pretty capable hardware, I might take a stab at it. Anyway, enough talking about it, let's get this thing started. So with this build, I decided to step things up and really pack in some power that'll last me for a while. I wanted this build to work for major productivity like video editing, motion graphics, and pretty much everything else creative, but I also wanted something that I could go hard on gaming with as well. That massive beast housing all of the hardware is Corsair's Air 540 case. It's a beautiful stealth mode case with a side window, plenty of room for expansion, tons of airflow, room for six 120mm fans, or five 140mm fans, two hot swap drive bays, and space for an additional four drives. And I also wanted the build's theme to be white, black, and purple, so I threw in a purple LED lit SP140 fan from Corsair to give it some color, and white LEDs to make it glow. Oh, and links to everything mentioned in this video will be in the description if you want to check them out for yourself. For the processor, I picked up an Intel 5960X 8-core processor, which I definitely plan to overclock in the near future, but it's certainly a step up from the 6-core processor in my Mac Pro. And to keep it cool, I'm using Corsair's H100i GTX all-in-one liquid cooler. As for RAM, we have Corsair's Vengeance LPX 64GB kit, which ensures absolute boss mode for just about anything. Picking up the right GPU for this was a tough decision. There are obviously a ton of options out there, but I decided to go straight up overkill status with a dual Titan X setup. I'm a big fan of Nvidia stuff, and the cards look really awesome, but at the end of the day, water is better than air. Because of that, I went with Corsair's HG10, N980, and H55 combo for an all-in-one liquid cooling solution on both cards. Oh, and that ugly SLI bridge there? Yeah, don't worry about that. I took care of it with some Plasti Dip and painted it black so it fits in with the build now. Finally, powering up everything is Corsair's HX1000i 80 plus platinum fully modular power supply. And don't worry, I'll eventually get custom colored cables to match the build. You may be wondering why I didn't just build a custom loop for liquid cooling, right? Well, the truth of the matter is that I'm totally inexperienced in that area, but I'm learning and be sure to leave a thumbs up if you'd like me to do a water cool build down the road. As for storage, for the main drive, I'm using Intel's 750 series 400 gigabyte PCIe solid state drive, which is stupid fast. I'm also rocking Kingston's 480 gigabyte HyperX Savage and a one terabyte Evo SSD from Samsung. And because I use Thunderbolt 2 a lot, especially with my G-Raid Studio on the Mac Pro, I actually picked up Asus's Thunderbolt EX2 card so that I could use the RAID with my build as that's where most of my video storage happens. Corsair was also cool enough to send out their K70 RGB keyboard and Scimitar RGB mouse, which looked pretty dope with purple LEDs and fit in perfectly with the channel and the theme of the build. I'm running Windows 10 on the system, and because of this, I thought it would be good to pick up some solid virus protection, and I partnered with Bitdefender to take their total security multi-device antivirus suite for a spin. This suite is essentially one product for all of your devices, whether that be Mac, Windows, or Android, and it has the lowest impact on performance, features Smart Scan, which will actually learn how you use your PC to avoid scanning from malware and slowing things down during use. The interface is super clean, and and there's even a startup optimizer built in to get you booted up faster, which I really like. And if you want to find out more about Bitdefender, I will leave a link below for you. I realize this isn't your typical build video, but I wanted to put something together to show you all what I've been up to lately and that I'm finally making the switch to PC, at least for the desktop productivity side of things. Let me know if you'd like to see more build videos in the comments section below. And if you want a follow up video featuring performance and everything else that goes along with my newfound PC love, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also, a huge shout out to my friend Jacob for helping me get everything together and put this plan in action. He was a big part in making this build, so huge shout out to him, and I'll link his Instagram in the description if you want to check him out. But thank you very much for watching and for all the support. I really appreciate it. This is Dom, and I'll catch you in the next video.